hello everyone thanks for watching this video so in this video basically today we are going to understand that how to create the singleton class using inner class also means using inner class concept also so in this example we will understand that how we can avoid the basically the synchronization keyword for a thread safety singleton code in last video means fifth video we understood that how to achieve the thread safety concept using the synchronization keyword either the using synchronization block or using synchronization method but to avoid the synchronization here we are going to use the another concept called inner class concept and this is the more simplest than the our synchronization concept that we already understood in video number 5 okay now coming to the coding section if you see this code is available into the package called inner class and where i have the same simple code what we have wrote into the our first video okay so there is no changes here this is just the client program to test the singleton okay and this is the actual singleton class where we are creating one instance i am just running this code just to make sure that this code is correct however we haven't made any changes if you see as code are same and double equals operator are returning the true means whatever the code is written here it is singleton okay very basic singleton that we already understood in video number one now in this video basically we are going to understand that how to and how to avoid the synchronization okay so for that we are going to write the class called inner class okay so that should be again private okay a static class and class name i am keeping inner class okay which is good now so i am keeping one same public class for that i am using private constructor and this private constructor I can access in inner class okay so I am trying to create the instance of that method here okay so how I am going to create the instance you calling by calling this one okay equal to new this constructor and I want this one to be final since everything is in upper case so it's good that I can have a final keyword here final fine so this is the inner class in inner class i can still call the private constructor region is everything in same class so we are good till now okay now we are taking the role and responsibility of get instance get inst instance doesn't need these are of code it's the simple method here i am going to return the instance what i have created so i have created this instance now this is the inner class which is again a static type and i cannot access this one to access this one i need the class name so with the help of class name i am going to access the instance method okay and i'm i returning the same returning the same instance okay so if you see here there is no much changes very simple code to write to achieve the singleton one class having private constructor and the another inner class from here to here it is basically creating the instance which is the final type okay and the same instance i am returning from the get instance method with the help of the inner class reference okay so first let me check whether this code is really creating the or not right click run a java application if you see we are able to create the singleton means hash code is same and double equals operator is also giving the true means this code whatever we have written is a pure singleton using this code basically we can we are avoiding the synchronization and this code is giving you the guarantee that your concurrent modification exception won't come i mean you can achieve your concurrency related or thread safe related code here also even though your lazing loading also you can avoid it here okay since as soon as you are hitting here it's creating the instance without any null check double check okay 
so is it as simple as it is okay yeah so thanks for watching this video